right, class. Before we finish our science lesson, it's homework time. And I want you all to design and make something useful. Pie face, what are you going to make? Uh, a pie making machine? Curly? A boomerang ball. It always comes back. <sighs> Walter? A clockwork tin opener, Mrs. Creature. Oh, I was hoping for something a little more imaginative from you. No, no, no wait. What I meant to say was... A robot! Yes, a robot to help keep the house and garden tidy. <laughs> Wonderful, Walter. And Dennis, what are you going to make? A robot! And I had the idea first. Never mind who had the idea first, Dennis. You and Walter can both make robots. <laughs> well, we've used up everything in here, Nasha, but we're still short of a few vital parts. Swallow. Um, 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 um. Ah, just that ticket. Spick and span. Um, 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 um. What? Who? How? Dennis! So, uh, <sighs> finished making your robot yet, Walter? Actually, I sent my design to a friend of father's. His factory people built it for me. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. He's arrived. Dennis, meet Walter Bolt. A pile of junk. Wait till you see my robot. Hey, Denbot! Interesting. What do you think, Walterbot? Sensors indicate 15% rubber bands and paper clips, 85% rubbish. Recycled parts, actually. And anyway, that tin can may look good, but what does it do? I am programmed to execute garden household chores, from digging to dusting. A dusting robot? Very cool. My robot's programmed for fun. Dembot, build a skateboard ramp. Skateboard ramp, easy peasy. Wow, that's cool. Dembot rock. Denbot rocks. <laughs> that is so not cool, Denbot. Look at my car. You can count yourself grounded forever. Wait, what was that? Allow me to present Walterbot. This is just the sort of thing he's programmed to deal with. Close. Finished. Fantastic. Thank you, Walter. And as for you, Dennis, I'll want a word with you when I get back. I'll teach that jumped up rust bucket. Hey, where's he going now? To paint your treehouse. <laughs> This is war! Ready? Steady? Fire! No delays! Must complete talk! Hey! 
your robot caused all the... Hey, what was that? It's Waterbot! He's all right! No way! That's Denbot! Oh, no! It's a horrible mixture of the two! It's... it's a Walter Denbot! You mean a Den Walterbot? Hang on, where's it off to? My school is good! School is good! School is good, eh? It takes after you, all right. Come back! There's no school on Saturday! No school on Saturday. Must go to treehouse. Have fun! No, must go to school. Do lessons. School is good. We've got to stop it. I mean, what if it wrecks the school? Don't worry. I'm on it. Curly, there's a giant two-headed robot headed towards the school. Get Pie Face and meet me there. And bring your science projects. Going on, Dan? Yeah. What's all this about a two-headed robot? Robot, Pie Face, and you'll see in a minute. Curly, get your boomerang balls ready. Pie Face, load your pie-making machine. Oh, crumbs. Exactly. Lock and load, boys. <laughs> Get ready for action! Go for it, Pie Face! One pie for me. <coughs> One pie for Robert! <coughs> Must go to school! School is good! OK, guys. Don't let me down. <coughs> 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 They work! They actually work! Ow! Oh, a bit too well. <laughs> We've got him on the run, Dan. Don't be too sure. My part of the bot is fitted with the latest laser systems. <laughs> No, it didn't. Your robot painted my treehouse pink. And if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't be... Hang on. That's it. What's it? Look how we're arguing. All we've got to do is to get the bot to do the same. Hey, Walter Bot, aren't you late handing in your homework? Must go to classroom, hand in homework. No, go to treehouse, have fun. Yeah, you tell him, Denbot. Classroom! Treehouse! You are a complete suicide! You are a total swap! Ignoramus! Twist! Sus! Boy, that was a close thing. Yeah. Trouble is, that's the end of my homework project. Mine too! And I've got a reputation to think of! Stop moaning, Walter! If we start now, we just might get our robot fixed in time for school. Oh, where are Dennis and Walter? Haven't they brought their projects? No, Mrs. Creature. It brought us. I am Denbot. I like school. Have brought Apple for teacher. Oh. No, I am Walter Bot. Don't like school.
for a couple of hours. But, Mum, I want to go to the fair. Well, you'll just have to take her with you. <laughs> what are we doing first, Dennis? Coconut shy. Remember all the great stuff we won last year? <laughs> These balls are foam rubber. Oh, yes, uh, new regulations, see? We can't have kids like you winning everything. Uh, I mean, injuring yourselves. <laughs> Never mind the coconuts. Let's have a go on the dodgems. Yeah, maybe we can beat the speed record we set up last year. Never mind fun, you just keep to the speed limit. <laughs> we could have walked faster than those dodgems. Don't worry, Pie Face, there are plenty more rides. We'll have a go on the big swing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Who oh, now, son? Health and safety in it. More than me job's worth. Oh, I've had more fun in one of Mrs. Creature's detentions. Yeah, it's almost like they don't want us to have a good time. Don't panic, boys. There's got to be something worth having a go on. <gasps> Bouncy Castle! Bouncy Castle! Hey, well spotted, B. We'll be all right now, boys. We always have a good time on the bouncy castle. <laughs> but, Dan, what if it's not as good as last year? Yeah, what if it's a totally non-bouncy castle? Nah, you can't mess around with a bouncy castle. It'll be great. Come on! All oh, right, you lot. Hold it right there. What's up? We only want to go on the castle. No chance. I remember you from last year. Cause chaos, you did. Come on, mister. We're only having fun. Yeah, well, there'll be no more of your kind of fun round here. I've changed the rules. Now the bouncy castle is only for children under the age of four. Ha-ha! <laughs> Fair enough. Sure, so you can have a go, then. As long as they don't have a brother called Dennis. You can't do that! <laughs> oh, yes, I can. My castle, my rules. Wunga and Bouncy Castle! Sorry, Bee. You were 
heard what the man said. Come, Bouncy Castle. Happy do a poo! <laughs> hey, B, look. It's not my fault. You just can't. Hey, Charlie, fancy a cup of coffee? I don't mind if I do. Or maybe you can. Must have been helium, like you put in balloons. Well, serves him right. He should have let you have a go, shouldn't he, Bee? Bee? <laughs> Where is she? Uh, Dennis, you're not going to like this. What? What aren't I going to like? <laughs> Bee flying! Ah! I know, Den. We could call in the Air Force. Send up a team of budgies. <laughs> no! I'll go up in a hang glider. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Or oh, we could send up the human cannonball. That's the daftest idea yet, Pie Face. It's miles too high. You couldn't shoot a person up there. You'd need something loads lighter, like... Like... <coughs> like a dog. <coughs> Go on, Nash. You can do it. <coughs> Go on, boy. For B. <coughs> Properly. We have fun with Den Den. Be fly up in air. <laughs> Did you? That's nice, darling. Well, Dennis, I'm so relaxed I've booked another class for next week. So I might want you to look after B again. That's all right, Mum. B's no trouble. Are you, B? Good girl. <laughs> Lovely, Dennis. Here. You and your friends go and enjoy yourselves. Wow! Thanks, Mum! <laughs> I'll take that. This little menace has ruined my lovely bouncy castle. Oh, Denny! And remember, Maximulcho Bark Mulch will stop those weeds dead in their tracks. See you next week. 
on Gardens Galore. If Julian Acorn recommends Maximocho, it'll be just what I need to get my garden in shape for Beano Town in Bloom. We're off to the garden centre to get some. All right, dear. See you later. Oh, don't forget Nasha's bath. No problem. Just leave it to me. And now the cup semi-final between Beano Town Wanderers and Dren. What ho? Seems friendly, but don't be fooled. When it comes to Beano Town in bloom, she's the enemy. Now, by the left, quick group! <laughs> Dennis! Mum says Nasha needs a bath. Oh, Dad, do I have to do it? Oh, you know he always goes berserk. Sorry, Dennis, I'm really busy. I'll have to leave it to you. Nasha, you know sometimes we have to do stuff we don't like. <sighs> I mean, I have to do me homework and tidy me room and eat sprouts and stuff. <sighs> and sometimes you have to do stuff you don't like, like going to the vet. <sighs> and having flea treatment. <sighs> and having a bath. <sighs> I should think you are. Not so much Beano Town in bloom, more bomb size on a bad day. <laughs> what are you talking about, Walter? Beano Town in bloom, the garden contest. Your mother was my main rival, but I'm sure to win now, thanks to you. <laughs> right, Nasha, that's it. We can't let Mum get beaten by Walter. Somehow, we've got to get this garden fixed up again. <laughs> Curly, call Pie Face and get over here. I've got a gardening emergency. <laughs> what? Uh, what's with the horse? He's looking after it for his cousin. But ever since he's got it, he's been acting weird. What? Weirder than usual? He won't answer you unless you call him the Pie Crust Kid. OK, OK, fair enough. So, Pie Crust Kid, what's with the horse? This here's my Palomino, Sylvia. Pie Horse, Sylvia! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that all about? She does it every time I say, Hi, ho, Sylvia. <laughs> well, stop saying it then. It's not good, is it? Not good at all, Curly. I darn toot and don't see how. Uh, what I mean is, we'll never get it back to how it was. No kidding, Pie Face. Hang on, he's onto something. We can't fix it, so maybe we should try something totally different. You mean like. Bigger, better, more spectacular. That's the plan. Once again, Genius wears a striped sweater. Beano Town Towers. A stately home garden. Exactly. We'll make one just like it. Set smaller. Garden. Stately? <laughs> In a state, more like. <laughs> it just needs an extra something. <laughs> and I know just the something it needs a pinch of down home prairie fertilizer. Manure. My dad says you can't beat it. Hmm. 
Well, go on then. <laughs> What's happened to the garden? Dennis! What have you done? The garden's your mother's pride and joy. I know, Dad. Sorry. I was trying to give Nasha a bath, like you said, and it all got out of hand. I should have bathed him myself. This is all my fault. Don't worry, Dad. We'll think of something. There's no time, Dennis. We'll just have to face the music. You two can go home. No sense in us all getting into trouble. OK. See you, then. Right. Best be off, then. See ya. You're bound to win Beano Town in Bloom, Walter. Your garden looks super. Well, it's going to look even better this afternoon because it's getting a makeover from Julian Acorn, the man from Gardens Galore. Golly, does your dad know him? No, my uncle does. Once he's added the finishing touch, my garden will be sure to win the grand prize. Ha! Here, that's not fair! Best tell done. Hi! I mean, come on, Sylvia. So, Walter's getting Julian Acorn in. Cos his uncle knows him. And, and it's cheating, isn't it? Hang on. Did you say Walter's uncle knows him, not his dad? Yeah? Get into many small boys. I can feel a plan coming on. As soon as Nasha sees the TV van, he signals to Curly, OK? Then Curly signals to you and you alert me, right? Got yeah. It. Right, get into position. He's on his way, pie face. Under control. Right. Ready, Dad? Remember, you're supposed to be Walter's dad. No problem. Delighted to meet you, Mr Acorn. Hi, I'm Julian Acorn. Uh, you must be Walter. Yes. How do you do, Mr Acorn? And you must be Walter's dad. Indubitably. Delighted to meet you, Mr Acorn. We're big fans, are we not, De uh, Walter? Oh, yes. Double indubitably. Gardens Galore is my very favourite programme. Great. Well, then, uh, let's take a look at your garden. Hmm, it's a tricky one, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Hello, anybody home? Out here, dear. Ta da! My garden! It looks. fantastic! Yes, thanks to Mr. Acorn here. Mwah, mwah. Delighted to meet you, dear lady. Oh, oh, Mr. Acorn. Oh, thank you so much. But how... I mean, why did you pick my garden for a makeover? Well, apparently it was all the idea of your little lad Walter here. His uncle called me. But my son's not called Walt. Oh, Dennis! So, who won Beano Town in Bloom, then? The Colonel. The judges said he had a very disciplined approach. Your mum would have won if she'd gone in for it, though. Yeah, but you know, Mum, as the garden had a professional makeover, she thought it'd be cheating if she entered. At least Walter didn't win. Not very likely, Pie Face, seeing as you totally lost control of Sylvia. <laughs> There's just one thing left to do. What's that, Dan? Nash's bath. <laughs> oh, boy. 
Golly, what's Walter up to now? With origami, you can fashion paper into objects of exquisite beauty. <laughs> objects of beauty? Hmm, good. And also give your enemies a good scare. <gasps> scare my enemies? Ha! Huh, even better! One more lesson and you will be a black belt in origami. <laughs> messes with me now, they'll feel the wrath of my flying rabbit! Not to mention my dancing giraffe! Ah! There was this big shadow on his window, like a rabbit or something. Maybe Walter's turned into a rabbit. He's always eating lettuce. Ah! 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 Oh, sorry, Dennis. <laughs> Yeah, you did I? You know, with my origami hawk. <laughs> origami? Isn't that making flowers out of paper napkins? That's just for beginners. I do the martial arts version. I am the prince of paper, the phantom of the fold, the oligarch of origami. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't care what sort of Ollie what's it you are. That stuff's for wussies. My martial art's much better. Oh, really? And which martial art would that be? It's called, um, uh, Dendo. Hi! <laughs> Very impressive. Told you! <laughs> better than your paper folding any time! A little contest then. Morning break on Thursday. Origami versus Dendo. Okay, bring it on. <laughs> Most important thing in martial arts, you got to know how to fall. So, what's Dendo then, Den? I've never heard of it. Ah, yes, uh, that's because it's secret, Pie Face, known only to a select few. Well, just me, really. So, explain it to me again, Den. You reckon with this dendo, you'll be able to take on Walter in a martial arts contest? Come off it, Curly! It's Walter! I'll uh, brush up on some of the finer points. And I know just the right sparring partner. <laughs> that's, that's right, Nasha. You've got to concentrate. There's more to dendo than meets the eye. <laughs> but don't worry. I'll go easy on you. hey -ya! That was beginner's luck, Nasha. And anyway, you can't just jump out of the way. I've really got to fine-tune me dendo skills or I'll look like an idiot in front of Walter. All right, let's try again. Now you must prepare for the ultimate origami challenge. I'm ready, Master. First, you fold the paper like this and this. Like this? And this? And then... <laughs> you have created the mightiest weapon of origami. The fearsome pecking duck. Yes, I've got it. <laughs> the pecking duck. Now, you truly are a black belt in origami. But remember, as the sensei has said, a little pecking is a dangerous thing. Yes, yes, a dangerous thing. Peck, peck. <laughs> you know what, Nasha? Either you'll have to take on Walter or I'll have to get some help. <laughs> I must consult the one whose words bring light to the unenlightened, the wise one. Gran! <gasps> Dennis! Oh, you startled me. Sorry, Gran. Oh, no matter. What can I do for you? Well, the thing is, I've got into this martial arts contest with Walter. Enough. Favourite grandson. 
I know you have entered into a foolhardy enterprise which could put life and limb at risk. You think? Even though it's only Walter in his soppy origami? Of course! Haven't you ever had a paper cut? Oh, it can really hurt. So, listen to me carefully. To gain victory, you must harmonise with the spirit of the universe. Spirit of the universe? Yeah! You must call upon your inner strength. Inner strength, right. But most importantly, you must enter into this contest at one with the forces of nature. Forces of nature, gotcha. Come, we will consult the writings of the masters. Oh. So, favourite grandson, do you understand what you must do? Even though you will be mocked by your enemies? I understand, oh wise one. No matter what they say, I will be sure to follow the forces of nature. Very well. Go! And shut the door after you! Oh, there's a shocking draft in here! I need more time to prepare, Walter. Make the contest after school on Thursday, instead of morning break. Huh. Very well. But make sure you turn up. We don't want people thinking you're chicken, <laughs> do we? <laughs> don't worry. I'll be there. I don't get it, then. Why are you letting them get away with that? Don't worry, Pie Face. When the time of battle comes, I will be at one with the forces of nature. To water. <laughs> I've just remembered. It's time for after school club. <laughs> Come along, chaps. Looks like there's more to Dendo than I thought. Ooh, that was a close thing, Den. No, it wasn't, Pie Face. I followed the way of Dendo. I was at one with the forces of nature. You mean you knew it was going to rain? Of course I did. Gran told me. There you go, Dennis. The weather forecast says it's going to rain on Thursday afternoon. All you've got to do is switch the contest to then. <laughs> Dennis, you are truly a master of Dendo. Yes, you must school us in its mystic ways. I will, Curly, and together we shall overcome the wusses of origami. <laughs> Dog, 
will perform their most daring stunt. A leap across Devil's Gulch. Thanks. For your information, this is a hutch. Shows how much you know about pets. Oh, come through, Walter. Oh, this is so exciting. <coughs> this is Walter's new pet, Dennis. He's a black Flemish giant. Huh. Looks more like a rabbit. We're looking after him for a few days while Walter's away. <coughs> Remember, he's very highly strung. No loud noises or sudden movements. He must have absolute quiet. He looks like a big bowl of fluff. What's his name, anyway? If you must address him, his pedigree name is Louis-Pierre Sebastien Lefleur III. Nah, we'll just call him Fluff. <laughs> Don't worry, Walter. We'll look after him. I used to breed rabbits when I was a girl. We'll give him lots of lettuce. No treats? These pellets will provide him with all the vitamins and minerals he needs to keep his fur silky and soft. Nice and fluffy, you mean? Au revoir, Louis-Pierre. Be brave. Mwah. Mwah. I reckon Walter's rabbit looks a bit lonely stuck in that cage. You're right there, Den. It's a dog's life. Uh, being a rabbit. What he needs is a bit of company. Come on, Nasha. Are you sure, Dan? Your mum said we weren't to... Come off it, Curly. I'm great with pets. Just look at Nasha, the best-kept dog in the world. <laughs> Come on, Fluff. We don't bite. These lettuces are coming along nicely. Nothing like a crisp bit of lettuce with your ra rabbit. By all that's khaki, I'll teach you to eat my prize vegetables. Colonel, have you seen a big black rabbit? Don't worry, madam. I've hunted bigger game in my time. Never seen an animal I couldn't bag with this little beauty. <gasps> no! Oh, my. Curly! Pie face! See anything? Yes. Good. Where's Fluff? Not Fluff. Walter! Walter? What's he doing back here? Walter, what are you doing back here? Pie face! Listen, I'll go and help Dennis. You keep Walter occupied. Huh? Me? Gotcha! Oh, Colonel, thank goodness. Well done, Colonel. Yeah, nothing to it. Got to watch these blighters, though. Vicious bite, some of them. Uh, Mum? <laughs> Cherry, nice, eh? Hmm. But this one, oh, she's my favourite. Apple and blackberry with a sweet pastry crust. Strange hobby, photographing pies. My other hobby is eating them. Do you want to see some more? <clears throat> yes, well, what do you expect? Look at him. Same colour and everything. You've done it this time, Dennis. If Walter finds out, he's not going to, Mum. The Colonel's just given me an idea. I have? What's that? Nasha, you're my closest friend, aren't you? Yes. And a friend in need is a friend indeed, right? Yes. 
You've got to help me out of this mess. It'll be worth it. I promise. You see, I've had this idea for you. You know how you are. <laughs> That's agreed then, Mum. Nasha's having a makeover. I must say, you do look the part, Nasha. <laughs> now then, remember, quiet as a mouse. I mean, a rabbit. Here, Nasha. Keep these out of sight. <laughs> oh, uh, Walter, I thought you'd gone. I forgot my Wellingtons. Is everything all right? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> What's all the barking? Oh, uh, Nash is not quite himself today. Well, that's good. Because his normal self is revolting. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, Dennis, uh, there he goes now. Yes, I'll uh, hop after him. Fluff, I mean, Nasha, here, boy. Oh, look at my glasses. Right, I'm going to see if Louis Pierre is okay before anything else happens. Oh, uh, um, <laughs> oh there's no need. <laughs> They went behind the shed. Good. There's no escape. Leave it to me. Got you! Look like an oversized rodent to you, do I, lad? No. Sorry, Colonel. Poor thing. He must be tired out. Hmm. He shouldn't be. I only just fed him his vitamins. Louis Pierre, what have you got there? Oh, my sausages. That's where they went. Oh, go. Uh, uh, to me. Silly rabbit. Goodness, he's not usually so aggressive. <laughs> Wait a minute, Jane. Look! Hold on, Fluff. We'll save you. I'm very disappointed in you, Louis Pierre. But I suppose if you're still hungry, you can have a delicious biscuit. <laughs> it's your favourite. Seaweed and spinach. <laughs> Look, Dad! He's heading for that tree! <laughs> It's a job for Nasha. Yuck! Bad rabbit! Bad boy! <laughs> Pierre! Oh, I didn't mean it! Come back! <laughs> Fluff! Jump! And Nasha. Oh, you found him! You found Louis Pierre! Yes, it was nothing really. And it looks like Nasha helped. Of course. He's an Abyssinian white haired tripound, the smartest dog in the world. Wait a minute. What's wrong with his tail? It looks all fluffy. Uh huh. That explains the sausages. You let Louis Pierre escape! We thought he might need some exercise. Uh, good. Uh, well, no harm done, eh? No harm done? Look at him! He's traumatised! Oh, come on, Louis Pierre, mon ami. A bowl of fibre-rich soya pellets for you, followed by a nice long rest. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dan. I think he likes you. <laughs> Come on, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? 
sure we should chuck away the detention book, Dennis. Of course! If Mrs Creature hasn't got it, she won't know when we're in detention. And I'm in for the rest of the year. Yeah, but we're not. What are you boys doing? You know you're not allowed here. Uh, sorry, Mrs Creature. Uh, we were just looking for... Um, uh, uh, me old skateboard. Weren't we, Pie Face? Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> now, pay attention. Here's an important message from the mayor. Good morning, class. I am pleased to announce that Beano Town School has been chosen to test a new administration system. No more wasteful paper. Everything's been computerized. But remember, it's vital that you follow the computer's instructions to the letter. Here's my new laptop. Excellent! This memory stick holds all the information you need. Diaries, timetables, records, everything. Now, all the info has been transferred to your laptop. Amazing! Now, all we have to do is consult the computer to see what we're doing next. There. You're all set. Thank you. Did he say every bit of information's in the stick, Mrs Creature? Yes, Dennis. Including all your detentions. Plus a new one for mucking about by the bin this morning. Oh, not fair! And Curly and Pieface will be joining you. Huh? Nice one, Dennis. All afternoon in detention thanks to you. At least you're not stuck in there forever like I am. Hey! This is the memory stick that guy had. He must have dropped it. So? So, maybe we should take a little trip to the computer room. Wow! How wicked is that? It's the master program for Mrs Creature's new system. Does that mean you can delete it? Don't be daft. Why delete it when you can change it? It's time school with fun! Settle down, please. Let's see what's in store for us today. I think it's our history test this morning, Mrs Creature. Oh, it's been cancelled. Yay! That's appalling, Mrs Creature. Walter, you heard what the mayor said. We must follow the computer's instructions exactly. Now, what else has changed? Oh, all detentions cancelled. Pies and ice cream for lunch. Oh, and there's a new rule that says pets can come to school. <laughs> so, what is our first lesson, Mrs. Creature? It's uh, drum and bass studies. Oh. <laughs> nice one, Dennis. <laughs> yeah, even Mrs. Creature's enjoying herself. Oh, this is outrageous! The school's going to the dogs! <laughs> Mrs. Creature! Oh! Come on, Walter! Don't be a square! What's next, Mrs. Creature? Er, uh, go kart racing! <laughs> Remember ordering all these cars? Oh, hello. That new computer system. Are you sure you installed it correctly? Everything's uh, different. Well, it will seem different for a while. Don't worry, just do what it says. It is foolproof. <laughs> Come on, Mrs. Creature. You're missing all the fun. Mrs. Creature, you have to stop this at once. 
She's doing what the mayor says, Walter. I think you're just trying to get her into trouble. Walter, I'm surprised at you. Out of those ridiculous clothes. Hide somewhere. And now hand over those sweets. Oh, genius, Walter. Ha! This is only the beginning. Someone's changed the computer program again. Where's the memory stick? I don't know. It must have fallen out of my pocket in the car race. All right, settle down, please. So. Today we have the history test we didn't have yesterday, then maths, flower arranging, and experimental jazz appreciation. And uh, what's for lunch, Mrs. Creature? Uh, lettuce and seaweed soup made from hand picked Sicilian lettuce and baby Norwegian kelp. Oh! <laughs> oh, and Dennis, all your detentions are back again! Right. I should have known. I can't take much more of this. We have to get the memory stick back from Walter. And now, one of my favourites. Sleepless Night by Glass Popper Van Shriek. Chance. Right, Walter, hand it over. Catch Bertie! Dudley! Walter! Dreams, Walter! What are you boys doing in here? Look on the bright side. At least we got rid of Walter's system. Please, Mrs. Creature. No, Walter. We're going back to the old ways and that's it. Quite right, Mrs. Creature. And as for this, I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. 